Hello and welcome back to Radiography Simplified. It's me, Michael. In this video, we talk about something that's quite interesting and important, the effects of radiation at the tissue level. As we've mentioned over the course of this series, while radiation can be quite useful in diagnostic and therapeutic medicine, it can also be quite harmful. This is because radiation is capable of causing damage to the normal cells of the body. This damage could range from small to life-threatening or immediate to long-term. Collectively, this damage is called radiation effects. There are different ways to classify radiation effects and we'll explore as many methods of classification as possible. We'll start by classifying radiation effects according to their dependence on a threshold dose. Here, we have stochastic and deterministic effects. As I said, dependence on a threshold dose is what we use to classify effects into deterministic or stochastic effects. To make sure you have the full grasp, let's explain what we mean by threshold dose. A threshold is a point at which an action is triggered. Below this threshold point, no action is triggered. In our case, the action triggered would be a radiation effect. And so a threshold dose would be the dose at which a radiation effect would occur. Below the threshold dose, no radiation effect would occur. Now, how does this fit into stochastic and deterministic effects? A stochastic effect is a radiation effect that does not have a threshold dose. This means that this effect can occur at any dose of radiation, no matter how small. However, its probability of occurring increases with dose. This means that a stochastic effect is more likely to occur at a high radiation dose as opposed to a lower dose. Also, the severity of the stochastic effect does not depend on the dose. This means that a low radiation dose could cause a fatal stochastic effect and a high radiation dose could cause a less fatal effect. Examples of stochastic effects include radiation-induced cancer and the genetic effects of radiation. As for deterministic effects, they have a threshold dose below which they cannot occur. Their severity increases with dose. Examples of deterministic effects are skin erythema and fibrosis. In the next two videos, we close up this conversation on radiation biology by discussing the deterministic and stochastic effects in more detail. See you in the next.